Hello there guys, welcome to Luna's World and X-Plane 11 once again. Welcome to Cape Town, a very sunny but kind of rainy a little bit. Um, Cape Town, and I've got the ortho scenery. What you're looking at here is the Jet uh, L410 and it's a freeware aircraft available from, uh, from xplane.org and it's really really nice i'm really enjoying it and uh the detail of it is pretty damn good um so the sound is good as well can you hear that of course you can hear that i think it sounds really really cool let's jump into the cockpit and i'll just have a have a quick look around i haven't really flown this much at all literally this is the second sort of flight that i've uh had a go in um, the only thing that I don't particularly like is that this, the yoke doesn't look very realistic. Um, I'm sure that is what it looks like in real life. But everything else is just really nice. This is a nice aircraft. I've got some views set up here. We'll just go through them. So that's my uh, captain view, if you like. Instrument view. Uh, eight, uh, radios and stuff. Actually, that's the captain's view. Uh, GPS, compass, uh, first officer view, and then we've got some wing views, some cabin views, and it's a fully simulated um, cabin, and it's not bad. You know, bearing in mind this is freeware, I think it's pretty awesome. So um, you're going to see some of these views as we go along. I'm going to throw in a couple of views, and then we've got engine, that's the kind of toilet view toilet door view i guess anyway all right back to there and um let's just set some flaps all righty and we'll get this video underway because you're here because of the title of this video so let's just take off and then we will uh start this dialogue check out these sounds these engines back on the uh, throttle here okay so basically the point of this video is there's been a couple of rumors um, going around on Facebook and things um, about uh, prepared 3d version 4 which is supposed to be 64-bit um, so we're going to talk about that, and we're also going to talk about, you know, what is the future of flight simming, this beloved hobby that we all have? Where is it going to go? Because one of the issues that has cropped up, um, this, this video has been inspired by a stream that I did a couple of days ago, where we were talking about um, this very subject of the prepared 3D version 4, 64-bit version, and we were talking about... Um, that particular rumor and I think it's important to reiterate that that it is a rumor there's nothing official from Lockheed Martin about uh, version 4 being 64 bit or version 4 at all coming out um, but we'll talk about some of those some of the things that were said one of the things that got the alarm bells ringing for me was that the person writing it said that version 4 was in beta and they were using 32-bit add-ons in the 64-bit platform and it was working. Now, I don't know much about programming and I don't know much about that kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure that's not possible. And I'd like you guys to let me know if it is or not because I'm sure there's some of you out there who have far more knowledge on this stuff than me it wouldn't be that hard so that's the first thing um, the second thing that I noticed and have been noticing over over the last sort of few months really is the divide between 
and this is this is not something new. This has been there for a long time. The X plane and prepared and FSX divide. It's it's less so between prepared and FSX because they're built from the same engine or platform. But there seems to be a real a real divide between those people who are avid X plane users and those people who are avid uh, prepared users and I think since X plane 11 has come out we now have this third category where we have you know and I'd put myself in this category so users of prepared and, and FSX who have I joke about it I call it going over to the dark side who have started to use X plane as a result directly of X plane 11 I'm sorry if I'm shouting but this is really loud in my ears so I hope I hope I'm not shouting too much, um, and like I said, I would put myself in that category, and I think it's a really sad thing that people feel the need to get all sort of personal and defensive um, about which one you use, and I I don't get that because this is all about flying, and it's all about you know using the simulator that you love for your needs. It just so happens for me right now, um, what I'm interested in is the, the most accurate flight model and the smoothest experience that I can get with the hardware that I have. You know, I don't have thousands and thousands of pounds to, to splash out on the latest, latest technology, computer technology. I have a fairly... I've got a good system, but it's not top end. It, you know, I've got a um, a 477K overclocked and a 1070. So it's by no means, you know, what I'm saying is I could spend more on that. Um, but, you know, why do that when you can get that experience in X-Plane with a relatively, you know, mid-range system? Um, and I don't think people should be uh, offended or divided or any of that stuff that I'm seeing. I just think it's completely bizarre. Um, you know, we can use whatever sims we like, dependent on how we're feeling. For example, you know, if I really fancy flying the uh, PMDG 737, not least because I've spent loads of money on it, but because of the experience of it, then I can always you know, I can always fire up prepared and do that. That doesn't make me a traitor. That doesn't make me, you know, not a supporter of X-Plane 11. Um, it's it's kind of one of those talks of, you know, why can't we all just get along and be friends? We're, we all love the same thing. We don't have to be so territorial about what platforms we use. Um, however, the competition between, say, X-Plane and prepared... I think it's healthy. Um, it, it creates an environment where the developers need to be on their, you know, top of their game to deliver us um, from evil. No, to deliver us the best um, of the best that we can get, you know, with their resources. And um, so I think that's good. I think that's a healthy thing. Dovetail, I'm not sure about. I just, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think. I'm not sure what's happening there. I haven't heard anything about their super duper sim that was supposed to come out. Um, so I guess watch this space. But I want to talk about VR because that is something I don't have any experience of with flight simming or at all, really, apart from I got a VR headset for my phone, but that's that's a you know not quite in the same league. So I wanted to get your view on if you think VR is going to be the future of flight simming, I'm pretty certain that it, it will certainly play a big role in the future of flight simming. Um, but again, unless they come down in price, unless they become more uh, readily available, and unless developers really get on board, then I'm not so sure. And I know some people who have experienced it have said, you know, you're going to absolutely love it. It's going to blow your mind. Um, you know, great. I want that to happen. I really do. 
like I said, I'm in the very much in the camp of I want to get the best out of the hardware that I've got. I want to get the best flying experience, you know, and I don't care really what platform it is. Um, I'm not particularly loyal in that sense. And why am I not loyal? Because it's my right as a consumer to pick and choose what I want to fly. You know, these things are not cheap. Uh, well, you know, they're relatively cheap, I suppose. But that gives me the fact that I've purchased these different platforms and invested a good amount of money in each one with add-ons and things. That gives me the right to pick and choose. Um, it just so happens right now that I think X-Plane 11, for me, gives me the best experience that I can possibly get that's available right now. So that's why... That's why I use it. That's why I've actually uninstalled, uh, prepared off of my machine. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm a horrible anti-prepared 3D person. I love prepared 3D. I've had so much fun, so many hours of joy and learning through that platform and through the excellent add-ons that are created for that platform. So I'm not ditching prepared at all. Um, and by saying that, I'm not ditching X-Plane. It just so happens that this right now is giving me the best experience. And I think as consumers, that's what we need to focus on. Rather more than, you know, bitching about, oh, this person has moved over to X-Plane or this, this, you know. I mean, that whole report, that whole sort of dialogue between uh, those two people talking about prepared version 4, you know, there were comments like, oh, X-Plane 11 looks like a cartoon. Um, I just, I mean, I don't agree with that, but I just don't think, I know that wasn't meant for public domain as far as we know, but maybe that was a publicity stunt. I'm just putting this out there. I have no idea. Maybe it was a publicity stunt um, because X-Plane is making such a ripple in the simulation world. I don't know. Who knows? I just think we could do without all that stuff. You know, people will fly what they want to fly. People will latch on to sims that they feel comfortable with um, the, for various different reasons. And I think we should all be completely okay with that and not feel the need to, um, you know, to make that an issue because it's really not an issue. Right, I'm going to put my gear down. Does that make sense? I'd really like to get your views on this. Um, you know, whether you think the whole prepared 3D version 4 thing is um, contrived. Is it because X-Plane is making, I think, the right move um, by giving us this simulator? I think it's superb. Maybe, you know, Lockheed Martin are counteracting that. Is Lockheed Martin even interested in us as the consumer in terms of the hobby that is flight sim? You know, because it was never really meant for the licensing was very clear. Uh, maybe that's changed now, but it was never meant for entertainment purposes. So, you know, there's all of that to think about. And I'd like to uh, like to know what you think. I'm, I'm happy to get into a heated discussion um, you know, and f let that happen on the comment section of this video because, like I said, it's something I think we need to talk about and get out there. And I'd like to hear your views on VR, whether you think that is the future. Um, is it something I need to invest in to look, uh, you know, to keep up with the trend for this channel? My aim for this channel is that we are keeping up with the cutting edge of what's happening in the flight simulation world. That is my goal. And at the same time, to give a mutual op opinion, well, not mutual, but just my own opinion based on my experience, I guess, but keeping an open mind about everything and not getting caught up in this whole ridiculous thing of, you know, betrayal if you move over to a different platform or I just don't I just just completely bizarre to me, you know. We should be uh, wanting to get the best that we can for this system that we have, 
uh, the best experience. And again, for some people that might be DCS World because they like combat. For some people that might be prepared because they love uh, tube liner flying where they don't need um, such a, you know, a great frame rate or they don't mind the, the jerkiness or maybe they've got a system that allows them to not have any micro stutters in X-Plane. I don't know. Who knows? It's all it's all relevant and dependent on the, 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 the people and we've all got our views and I'd, I'd really like to hear those views. So let me know in the comments what you use and why you use it. That would really help me out. That would that would give me a good insight. And because uh, I'm interested to see whether prepared users look at X Plane 11 videos. And if you're a prepared user or an FSX user, and you are watching this and you're thinking, you know, well, I really like this about X Plane, but I don't like this. Then again, I'd really like to know that because um, we can feed all this back. We can talk about it. We can see where things are going. We can influence, to some extent, you know, our beloved hobby. And I really do believe that. Because I think we're at an interesting time where we've got these excellent products out. And um, I think maybe for the first time, developers are really listening to us. And, um, and they're up for giving us what we want because they know that we're going to spend our money if if we feel good about the product you know and if it is giving us what what we want so i think that's healthy i think we need to get this uh, get beyond this whole weird divide and just talk about what would be the perfect sim and have that discussion among us regardless of what platform you use so I hope that all makes sense, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed this flight. I urge you to check out this freeware um, aircraft. I'll put the link in the description because it is so much fun to fly, and it's uh, it's absolutely excellent. So com absolute kudos to the um, to the developers of this because it is it's really nice. Feels a bit like the Toy Nutter. I don't know if I've said that already, but it's got this very smooth, very easy flight model very stable aircraft to fly let's hope I don't mess up the landing it's a very gentle graceful feeling there we go and we are down do we have reverses we do we don't need them though but Anyway, we are down, and um, I really enjoyed that flight. I hope you did too. And please, 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 please do comment in the comment section, and let's get this uh, chat underway, and let's talk about all of those things I mentioned. Let's talk about prepared version 4, even if it is hypothetical. Let's talk about X-Plane 11. Let's talk about Dovetail. Let's talk about what we want as consumers um as as the perfect simulator let's talk about vr all that good stuff and um you know i think the less we talk about this weird divide between all the different platforms uh the better because we're all in this because we love to fly and we want the most realistic smooth and pretty looking simulation uh that we can platform that we can we can have so I hope that all makes sense, guys. And uh, as always, I really appreciate your comments. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. And um, do join me in a live stream as well. We've got such a great bunch of guys. Not, not guys as in males necessarily. But a great bunch of people who um, are extremely passionate about flying. And um, I've seen some incredible acts of kindness um, in my streams and I'm very very grateful for that I really am and uh, it's hopefully it's rubbing off on me as well um, so yeah do come and join us Luna's world of fun and I'll see you all very soon I'm going to try and park between these two Delta 
jets here. We've got a also Virgin on the left and a Delta on the right. And here I am stuck in the middle with you. No, dude. Apologies about the bad jokes. Anyway, right. I'm going. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, look forward to speaking to you all soon. Take care.